Hello, good morning, good day. By the way, my name is Jumatis Namasa from Bachelor of Secondary Education 1B, majoring in English. So, by the we will now talk about the Filipino grievances about Governor Wood. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, before we now go into the top and context of this Filipino grievances, I may now present the background for this. So, a, little, a brief background. The Filipino, Filipino grievances is a document which was a form of protest and impeachment against Governor Wood. This literally means this document was written on the tenth day of the member in the year 1926 and this was approved by the Commission on Independence on the 17th of November of the same year 1926. He showed um, enormous and malicious ways of governance and this caused the Filipinos to felt grief and resentment over good. This is an example of a joint resolution showing Congress of dissatisfaction with the way how Governor Wood was handling affairs of the state, has refused to assign to laws which were the most wholesome or necessary for the public good, which really literally means that he was against the public good and he was self-centered and egocentric, Governor One, and he has reversed the policy of Filipinizing the service of the government by appointing Americans even with Filipinos of proven capacity were available. This literally means he ignored the capabilities and capacities of the pure Filipinos back then which literally has the capabilities of governing and having the governance of the Philippines. Filipino funds or he caused poverty, corruption, theft, and bribery, so which he has used certain public funds to grant additional compensation to public officials in clear violation of the law. He has arrogated upon himself the right of exercising the powers granted by the law of the emergency board. After abolishing said board on the ground that its powers involve an unlawful delegation of legislative authority, um, grieving on um, arbitrary acts of Governor Wood was he has attempted to close the Philippine National Bank which is literally imperative to the Republic of the Philippines so necessary to the development of the country he has adopted the practice of intervening which means he has to put in himself or engage himself which doesn't even need it and controlling directly so it's min minute detail and the affairs of the Philippine government both insular and local in violation of self-government. 